So I decided to start this tonight. Um, last minute road trip to Ocean City, Maryland. I was supposed to be going with my friend, but she bailed, which is fine. Um, but now I'm going by myself. Ironically, the people that we met in Vegas were also going that weekend. So I guess I'm just gonna go meet them. This is either gonna be really fucking awesome or really fucking awkward. Literally going in an Airbnb with like 11 dudes, maybe 10, I don't know. I'm gonna be going to bed now because I'm waking up at 5 a.m. and I'm just gonna do a road trip. There's literally a bug flying around me right now. Seven and a half hours. I'm gonna leave at like 5 a.m. Look at my dog looking in the mirror. Hi! Um, this is gonna suck and I'm pissed off and I'm sad, but I feel like I like how, the, how I'm the kind of person that like, if I have something in my head, I'm gonna do it anyways. It could be a bad thing, but I don't know. If I wanna turn around halfway, and like go home if I get there and it's awkward and I want to get a hotel room sure I hope that's not the case I hope I go there and it's wicked fun I'm literally going by myself with these people that I met two months ago and haven't hung out with them since this might be really stupid I hope I don't get like murdered that would suck because I want to move soon and that wouldn't have to be able to happen I'm really pissed my dog is freaking out because there's fireworks. What are you doing? He's nervous. All right, well, I am going to finish packing. Um, I don't know. I'm planning on documenting this whole thing now that I'm going alone, so this will be fun. I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty nervous. And I'm like kind of scared. I'm mainly nervous because I am going to be staying in an airbnb with these people and like i don't really care like usually i can make friends easy and like fast just because i don't like awkward situations so i feel like i just break them really quickly but it's just gonna be weird like i don't know these people i'm gonna go this is gonna be confusing i'm really stressed out right now i'm stressed out i'm pissed off i'm sad i'm all of the above I don't know. Is this dumb that I'm doing this? I don't think it's dumb. I think it might just be like unnecessary. <laughs> I'm gonna pick this up at 5 a.m. All right, I look like shit and I look orange as fuck. Um, okay, so I'm just picking up where I left off last night. I'm still doing the road trip. Currently, I'm like not even an hour in. Okay, so yeah, it says I'm gonna be there around two. I'm getting excited. I had like a really rough night last night because it just really sucked kind of dealing with like getting excited over shit and like talking about it and getting hyped up and then all of a sudden just being like, all right, nah, I'm not going. And I feel like I deal with that a lot. And it kind of sucks because, like, I feel like I do surround myself around not necessarily, like, bad people, but just, like, not reliable people a lot. I don't know. If I were to be told, like, hey, like, you want to do this, I'm always the person that's like, yeah, I'm fucking coming. Unless it's, like, impossible or I'm spending, like, a million dollars. Obviously, I'm not going to do that, but, like like this like whatever like it's fucking fun it's spontaneous like who gives a shit especially like last minute trips i kind of get excited over because it's like i feel like i am more of a spontaneous person like this for example like it's like i put today's friday like i planned this wednesday at like 3 p.m randomly thought about it and then actually on Thursday, I, I realized, or Wednesday night or something like that, I realized that the people that we met in Vegas are also going. So that almost convinced me more because we have like an Airbnb versus spending a couple hundred dollars on like a hotel. I'm fucking going so fast right now. Holy shit. 
fucking, I have an issue. Um, so, I don't know. So, I don't know. I just get really excited over, like, last minute shit. Especially, like, I feel like when it's last minute, you kind of, like, gotta get, like, hyped up and, like, into it. So, whatever. Worst case, I, like, lose all of this excitement and I turn around and go home. If I, I mean, I could randomly get a hotel room if I wanted to. I, I don't need to, so, like, I really shouldn't. Straight. We got six hours and 40 minutes left. I think the drive total was, like, seven hours and 20 minutes, so. I mean, honestly, it's, like, not that bad. I've done the drive to D.C. before from Boston with someone else, but, like, they were sleeping most of the time, so it was basically me just by myself. And also, at the time, I didn't have my car, so I was in, like, a really shitty rental car, so I feel like that, if anything, was, like, the worst experience of my life. So, this knock on wood will be way more enjoyable. And, like, I don't really care about the drive. I'm, like, a psycho, and I love to drive. Um, I just, like, feel like when I get there, it might be a little fucking awkward. <laughs> just because of the people that I'm hanging out with. Well, to start, I recently met them. But they are super nice, and, like, I kind of, like, I'm a very observant person. I get vibes very easily, and so, whatever. So, I never got any vibes for these, these people. Hopefully, it's fun. They're just people that want to meet friends, which I'm, like, so down for. Like, I think that is awesome, and, like, especially last night, me crying about my friends always letting me down and feeling so lonely and shit like that, like... I feel like this would be so good and like I always I feel like I don't really talk about it a lot but I mention it here and there like casually like I am trying to move I want to move to Miami and I just like want to live my life for myself and just not be like I want to challenge myself and I, I like pushing myself like this for example I like pushing myself to limits and then when I do it it's almost like a confidence builder like hello I like literally just did that that was so annoying <laughs> But, I don't know. I am excited. And, like, this could be the last trip I take until I move. I don't know. Like, you never know. I'm, I need to start saving money. Because I say this, and then I spend more money. And then I save, and then I spend it again. So, like, I gotta, like, chill. But, this is gonna be a cheap drive. Like, I'm only really paying for gas and, like, a hundred bucks for a fucking Airbnb. Hopefully, I just realized my friend's not coming with me, so that's gonna go up. But whatever, who cares? Um, I'm gonna stop this because I should be driving. I think I'm about to hit a service center and I don't need to pee, but I probably should just try. Um, and TMI, I have my period, so this will be so buggy then. Hello. All right, I look like shit. I don't even care. Um, we are, I, th I don't know if I'm in New York or not, actually. I think I'm in Connecticut still. But I'm like slightly making good timing. And I'm kind of fucked because of, like, the way I want to go, I kind of was hoping that I would drive through New York. And the only reason for that is because I was hoping to maybe stop by, like, a friend's house and, like, maybe convince them to either come with me or to, like, maybe I'll stay in New York. I don't know. But I don't think I'm stopping through. I think I'm driving around it right now. I'm, like... I'm getting excited and I'm like pretty gung-ho on going. It's just, I just feel like this is gonna be so awkward just because of like this, like the circumstances, but I don't know, I mean, whatever. Like it's funny that I'm going, I don't know. I'm so fucking hungry too. It's like 8 a.m. and I have about, I have, a, I have five and a half hours left, which like sounds horrible. People are driving like, psychopaths and normally this is me but I can't I can't fucking risk it dude I'm I'm driving like a normal human being as I'm GoPro and going 90 but <laughs> I feel like worst case I'll just get like a hotel by myself I would spend the money I just feel like that might be another awkward conversation to have like hey like I know I just drove eight hours but like I'm gonna go stay somewhere else <laughs> by myself I don't know the reason why this is such a weird situation is because like of course you know we met these people in Vegas and this one person, I was, like, literally just, like, making... I almost just hit the guardrail. Okay. Uh, and I was looking, too. That's concerning. I, like, we made out a 
couple times, whatever, and, like, I, like, slightly liked him, but then obviously that was, like, two months ago now, so, like, it kind of died down. So I don't know if he's, like, trying to, like, date or just hook up with me. I'm not hooking up with anyone. Um, so that's the other issue. Like, am I driving through a storm right now? Oh, I also don't want to be in this lane, so deuces. I don't know if this is a cloud because it's gonna rain or if it's like smog because it kind of looks like smog or like smoke. I don't really know what the vibe is gonna be when I walk in because I do feel like it's gonna be a lot of couples. I hope it's fun. I really think it'll be really fun. I'm happy I'm going. I just like, I need to like break through this awkward. I feel like when I walk in, it'll be a little weird, mainly because I'm going alone and I don't want them to think that I'm like going there because of this boy. But also I have to remember like, they are down to like meet friends and to like hang out and party like and if I fucking move my sister made a really good point if I move this is a really good test run like I'm about to go hang out with strangers that sounds horrible please don't go I'm about to hang out with strangers and like meet new people and make the best out of it this is what moving is gonna be like for me so I'm gonna save this battery I'm gonna document this shit Maybe I'll watch it back one day. Maybe I'll turn around. I really don't fucking know. I'm so hungry. That's all I know right now, though. Okay, update. I am on the Jersey Turnpike. And I think I'm, yeah, I'm still in New Jersey, yeah, obviously, you fucking idiot. Oh, and my mom's calling me. All right, so I'm in New Jersey. I think I have about three hours left, exactly. Which, like, isn't that bad? Like, I, I still cannot believe I'm fucking doing this stupid shit. Like, God. Yeah, every service station I see, I basically stop, mainly because I am drinking coffee and I have to pee. And even if I don't have to pee that bad, oh my God, I should have cracked my neck when I wasn't fucking going 60 on the highway. All these fucking losers are trying to cut me off and like it's kind of funny because it's like I'll never understand like I drive like a piece of shit all the time but I'll never understand like why people try and cut people off like you know when there's traffic like there's traffic you're not gonna go anywhere you know this is gonna be a fucking whirlwind of a trip I don't even know. I'm starting to get kind of sad again because I'm just like realizing that I'm going by myself and it sucks, but I really do think I'll have fun and I'll enjoy it. Should I just cut this guy off? Like, what is he even doing? Please just move over. Like, that would make my life so much better. I just want to get there and like see how it is. Like, it's going to be so awkward at first, but I don't even give a shit anymore. All right, so I will update in a little bit. Wish me luck. and was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna drive to Delaware and just fucking not have any plan or meet anyone and just hang out. Um, I'm really tired and like kind of zony. I think I'll have a lot of fun. I really hope I have a lot of fun. Let me make sure I'm in like the view. I really hope I have a lot of fun. Um, I mean, if not, like it's a fucking day and a half. I think I'll be good, you know? Like, I'll survive. This fucking loser will suck a dick. I think it's literally a straight shot down in Delaware. Um, there is nothing here. Like, if you were to look, it is just grass and, like, a 
Oscar. This is gonna be so fucking weird. I'm probably not gonna GoPro the entire trip. I might try and get a video on my camera, I'll go on my phone. But I don't think I'm gonna GoPro. This was just for um, documenting purposes, so yeah. I am starting to get really nervous and have anxiety, so. I just can't believe I'm by myself. Like, I'm dead ass alone right now. I'm like about to fucking be there. This is gonna probably go by fast. 55 miles away. Rehoboth Beach! That's where I was the last time I came here. But I really hope that there is like somewhere to pull over right before because honestly, I look beat as fuck. And I need to pull over. I should have done my makeup in the Wendy's fucking parking lot. And I didn't think of that until I had driven away. But I also just want to get this over with. So maybe when I'm like still 30 minutes away, I'll pull over. I don't think I'm going to straighten my hair. I have an outlet in my back seat. And I was going to straighten my hair in my car. But I think that might just be pushing it a little too much. <sighs> maybe this will just jump cut to me driving home crying. I don't know. I'm not really sure if you can see me. This is fucking weird. All right, I'm literally in my car at a gas station. My God! This falls, my whole life is gonna be ruined. So I'm at a gas station right now. Just kind of killing, I just ruined that. Just kind of killing time because I'm still about like 50 minutes away. But, like, it's 2 o'clock, and check-in check isn't, isn't even until 4, and they're leaving late now, too. So, they're leaving, they're leaving now, I think. They're leaving now. Everyone thinks I'm moving today. <laughs> I literally keep um, posting like boomerangs of like where I'm going. And because I'm not, I can't talk into my eyebrows. And because I'm not posting with anyone, everyone thinks I'm just moving, which I should be, but I'm not. Okay, so my eyebrows are looking like shit because I'm sacrificing to talk for this fucking GoPro video. Normal. So yeah, so I'm I'm killing time here. And they're three hours away, so if they leave now, they're not even gonna get here until five. So I have three hours to just fucking do nothing. Every time I need to get gas, I just fill my tank. So we're back at a full tank. I literally got a car wash for no fucking reason, even though it fucking rained on the way in here. Um, got a car wash. Got more gas. Oh my god, my eyebrows look like shit. Actually, they're whatever. Um, and after I do my makeup, I'm going to vacuum my car. I don't know why. I wanted to do this a little closer to where I'm going, but honestly, I just went like 20 minutes without passing anything. So I'm taking fucking advantage. I'm literally in like just one gas station. Like there's one guy next to me and then I'm just like, this is just like a fucking Ford dealership. I'm like, I don't even know if I can see myself, so. We're doing this right now. I'm starting to get sad and bored and hungry and like sad, but I'm just trying not to think about it. I feel like this is what it's gonna feel like when I move. Oh my God. All right, I don't know where it stopped recording. I'm turning off. There's a legit bug in my car and I don't know where it went. All right, well. Mm -hmm. 